straight out of Tampa, Florida. I got none other than the cutter here with me. What's up, bro? Man, what's good, man? Y'all already know what it is. We tapping in with never end up with nothing from this gym, man. <laughs> you know it, yo. Mental flight out now. Super dope project. Super crazy way to start the year. I think you want to like the only artist I know that really have, has dropped. Cause you know, beginning of the year, people sometimes be afraid to drop new music, but you dropped a super dope project. Congratulations on everything. Before we get into the project, I know you have a really cool history with how you got into music. And I know it all started when you were three years old. So give me a little history about how you got into music, you know, the instruments you play, all that cool stuff. I ain't even gonna lie to you, boy. I fell in love with music when I first heard the first notes. And, you know, the piano, the drums, everything just came together magically for me. And you were only three years old when you learned to play drums, right? That's like kind of when yes. it, when this all started? Yeah, man. That was the first time I picked up my drumstick. Yo, I think it's so interesting how, you know, you learned to play drums, you did the church stuff, uh, and then, like, you started rapping kind of, like, early, you know, like, like 11, 12 years old. How did all that kind of, like, come together? Well, it just made me more cohesive with the music and made me musically inclined. Right. With, with with like the rapping at 12 like you know what i'm saying like did was there ever like a problem with doing the church stuff and rapping at the same time because i know those two <laughs> things can kind of conflict with each other it it all take its own toll but at the end of the day you know you find your way through both of them right right and i know like growing up for you you kind of had to grow up kind of fast you know fast you know with the whole family situation that you had going on how did like you know having to mature faster you know, kind of, I guess, affect your your growth and, and, and even to where you are now? Well, it didn't affect my growth. It just literally taught me to be stronger. Mm. Mm. And like what and like what regards? Like, I'm assuming you you probably became the man of the house very, uh, very early on. Yes, man, I became the man of the house very early. Was that was that was that like difficult? You know what I'm saying? Like, what what were what were some things that you had to deal with? You know, when you were when you were young. Shoot, <laughs> I had to deal with a lot, man. Like all the adversities that came at me at once, but it didn't break me. It just made me into the better person that I am today. Right. And yo, like I said, since you started like dropping records last year, you've been nonstop. Like since July, it's just like single, single, single project, single, single, single project. Uh, I want to I want to go through these two projects that you put out since you kind of started dropping in July. Um, the Abandoned EP. Get, talk to me about that EP. What, why call it the Abandoned EP and, and why start that as like your first, you know, your first project out the gate? Because everybody somewhat in their life felt abandoned. Me, when I went through my issues and I felt the bandit, there is no way that I can literally just like let that slide, you feel me? That was the best topic for the way I felt with my heart and the way I felt with my life mm -hmm. because people that I thought was gonna be there turned their backs on me. Mm -hmm. But it all, like I said, it all made me stronger to the person that I am today. Right. So that whole project, uh, with these projects, are you kind of like giving people like a little glimpse of like different parts of your life? Like, is that kind of your goal of it? Because that's kind of what I'm getting of at. Of course. You, you've seen the song Mentally Fly Away, right? Of course. I told you that's one of my favorite joints. I was really, like at that time, that song really was real to me two years ago when I first made that song. Mm. So you've been making music real. for a while. Yeah. Like, it was real. I had to deal with all of that at once. Like, now, if you listen to the lyrics, even down to me talking about my homegirl, Mona. Mm -hmm. She died at the beginning of last year. Oh, you man. feel me? Um, even when we talk about my homeboy, Local J, he's still locked up. We wait for them to beat this case for real. Like, I'm talking about the real. And, and you, you know, you put in all your pain into the music, which, you know, let's get into the mental flight stuff. So why call the, the second project, you know, your, your first project out the gate of 2021? Why title this mental flight? And, you know, is this like kind of you just you just talking about like the current mental state you're in, like trying to deal with like the, the different things going on in your brain? Like what was the purpose for you for this project? I was just referring to mostly my past, mm -hmm. like through all the depression, I had to take a mental flight to get away from you know, what life looked like right now so I can get to what life going to look like when I make it to the future. Mm. Mm. And so, you know, 
are you is this kind of your way of putting all that 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 stuff that's happened to you like behind you you know what i'm saying like put it through the music and then let it go I ain't going, like, you feel me? There's new ways to talk about it, but at the end of the day, yeah, I'm putting that all behind me, man. I'm so, like, listen, this third EP after this one, you gonna see what I'm talking about. Like, there ain't no, none of that. It's just gonna be straight, real music after this. Is this like a trilogy of projects? Is this is that what you're going for? Like a trilogy of, of, uh, of a story? Uh, I'm gonna make another one. I already done put it in my head that I wanna make a mental flight part two. Mm-hmm. But this we're gonna talk about what I'm doing now. So what's this new project that you got that you're working on? <laughs> I can't tell you too much about that yet. Y'all gotta wait to March though. Okay, wait. March. So we got like a little time frame of when this is gonna be out. I mean, you you be dropping shit like every week, so I I I don't deny that the fans will stay you know stay fed when it comes to your music. Mm-hmm. Nah, I work my behind off for that man. And you I, also. I, Oh, go ahead. Say what you're going to say. I said I grind hard. Man. I work my mind off for it. So, of course, I'm going to make sure they stay fed. <laughs> and I love how you called, like, this uh, the style of your music. You call it street soul, right? And, you and you know, you, you're kind of pioneering it. Talk to me a little bit about why you decided to to call it that and kind of the roots, the roots of this style that, you, that listen, you've created. For one... Rap originated in the streets, but before rap, there was soul music. Mm-hmm. But anybody who know what soul music is, you'll understand. Soul music is a different level. It's a different understanding of pain. It's a different understanding of, you know, where we come from, everything. Like slavery, when that was going on, the slaves used to literally use soul music to uplift them and talk about the future and talk about where they was going and even talk about like, Escape routes, all that stuff. Just talk about everything at once, just to uplift them, to keep their mind elevated that they're not gonna be here too mm. long inside this mental trap. Mm. And and I like how you kind of brought that all the way back around when it comes to like your style. You know what I'm saying? Like even like with your music, it has like that real soul undertone. You know, like how you talked about how you talk about like you know your your friend who passed away or your friend who's locked up and fighting charges, but you're telling that over like a beat. And that has some of that those that soul music elements in it. You still hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, so what? No, guys, say what you gonna say. I said it was tripping. Oh, the the, the zoom was tripping, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with with this style, man, is this something that you know you you want to take you know global? or nationwide, like, what is your, what is your, I guess, you know, your dream for the style of Street Soul? My dream is the real deal, just create a whole genre of rap where people will actually talk about their life and real deal talk about what they're going through and be able to express themselves in another way besides just regular music. Mm. Mm, I love that. I love that. I love that. Yo, so my guy Diesel, right? He was telling me how you know you you've been in the blogs a little bit lately, right? Because I, I heard I've heard you having some issues down there with some other local rappers. What's going on, man? Like, what's happening right now? What's 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 the deal down in Florida? Shoot, man, that that's just me blowing up, really. Just let everybody know that I'm not going nowhere. Right. I'm here to stay. You feel me? That's why the blogs all on me now. Like, and you know what? Like, I know, I know, Um, I, I believe his name's Roboy. He's also from, like, your area. Like, what? what's up with the Tampa rap scene? Like, how is this, like, you know, why is this all kind of happening right now? Is it because, like you said, of, of you blowing up? Is that what this is all kind of, like, about in a way? Man, yes, man. That all started because I started, like, becoming a threat in the music world. See, before when I wasn't a threat, everybody was cool with me. They were buddy-buddy with me. They ain't, you know... But as soon as I became a threat, when my views started getting up there like this, and when I started doing numbers and people just started hearing me everywhere, seeing me everywhere, that's when that all started. Mm. Mm. Now, is it just like, is, is there any hope of like squashing this? Because I hate seeing people from the same area fight. You know what I'm saying? I oh, feel like... I ain't beefing with nobody. Mm. Beef is for people who just real deal ignorant. Mm. I don't beef with nobody. I keep the beef away from me. I try to stay peaceful with most as I can, you feel me? Like, as the most as I can, I try to stay away from all that. 
Right, right. And, you know, I could tell that you got like a lot of love and you know what I'm saying? Like none of this is like, you know, you ain't got no problems. Like you just want to be great and you want to see people around you be great. And then, you know, sometimes things from the outside influence come in and, and people might, you know, have their own opinions. Yes, sir. And so my, I also heard like, you know, that some of these guys are like comparing you to like the likes of, of Rod Wave, which I think isn't fair to you because you have a lot of a different style. What do you, how do you feel about when people try to compare you to other rappers? When they compare me to them, I just know one day I'm going to be great as them. Mm. Like, it's either I'm going to be great as them or I'm going to be better than them. At the end of the day, I know that my work ethic is going to get me there and I know that my music is just going to talently push me there. Right, right. How do you like, you know, what, what I love right now about Florida is that you guys have such a diverse, you know, kind of culture of music. You know, we have like, we have like the Seti Hendrix who are out there. You have like the Ski Mask, the Slump Gods, of course, the people who've come before and have 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 left stuff like like uh, like XXX. You know yourself, Buck Sosa. There's so many amazing people coming out of the state of Florida when it comes to music. How do you feel currently about where hip hop is and your place in the Florida hip hop scene? Well, I feel like the world is finally getting to understand what Tampa is about and who we are. Mm. And in Florida, we've been the shit. I'm just telling <laughs> you that right now. We've been the shit. So it don't matter what people say, they know that we got the best music to ever really come out of Florida. That's why Kanye came down here to learn how to do his samples. That's why everybody come to Florida to do what they want to do. Man, like, there, there it is. You see, they travel to Miami, they travel to Orlando, they travel everywhere in Florida to get stuff done because we are the shit. <laughs> and I, I mean, think you know that because Tom Brady came all the way from the motherfucking Patriots to be with us. Yo, you I think you said it best, you know, bring up the Kanye, the Tom Brady, this, this, and that, going to Miami. And and you know, I really am am excited to watch you grow as an artist. And I'm excited to see what you do this year because I feel like you're gonna have an even bigger year than you had. Uh, uh, last year, especially with this upcoming tape in March. Before I let you go, anything else that people got to know that you got coming up? Anything else you want to tell the people, uh, you know, video-wise, music-wise? more videos coming out. We got more videos coming out. We got everything that's going to take off. Y'all already know what we're going to do, man. I'm meeting with that boy Dirty Glove out there in a, well, L.A. And then we got us going to Puerto Rico, doing our thing, chilling, swinging, man. We got everything going on. Like for real, we real there from the take off, like you said. And if y'all ain't on my side, if you ain't rocking with me, you getting rolled over. I'm just letting you know right now, 2021 is real niggas season. Like I said, RSN, my song, y'all know how we coming harder than anybody in Florida. Go check out my team, never in, never enough, boy. We really swinging like that. You go check out the whole roster, not just me. Check out the rest of my youngins that's on the team and see how we get down. I'm telling y'all, the cutter is going to be the main thing you hear about this shit. You don't want to miss it. Yo, and I can't wait to hear more about the cutter this year. Let the people know where they can follow you at. Uh, anything else you want to plug in? Any other social medias you want to plug in? Go ahead. Throw that in there for them. Bet, man. Y'all go follow me at D-A underscore K-U-T-T-A-H. And after that, go ahead and go check me out on YouTube, Spotify, Pandora. You name it, man. Go check me out. I'm everywhere. <laughs> Like for real, I'm on every platform that you can really just understand possible. Like, oh man, let's get it. there it is. Tampa, Florida was in the building today on the radar. Dakota, I appreciate you, man. Uh, Till next time, is Dakota on the radar, baby? Yes, sir. Be blessed, man.